Hey artist friends, I'm here with a fun watercolor review unboxing type video for you. I had it all set and ready to go and then I forgot to hit record on my camera so I had sketched these little cone flowers to put on, put on this page in my art journal. I thought this would be the perfect spot to put a little watercolor um, picture. I didn't know what else I was going to put on this craft page that already kind of had some art on it and then the funny watercolor splotches. I have no idea when I did that on that right side. It might even be acrylic. I have no idea. And then since I, for since I forgot to hit record, I decided to sketch out another set of cone flowers because I wasn't feeling the three on the left and I thought I'd try maybe two here instead of that three. I'm basically just really, really loosely sketching these out. I know what they look like, so I don't have a picture I'm sketching from. I just kind of want a basis for where I'm gonna end up plopping the watercolor paint. And speaking of watercolor, this is the 50 watercolor set that Gravy, Grabby, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that A in there. We're gonna go with Gravy. <laughs> I should have asked them, I apologize, sent me to review on my channel. I already actually swatched these and unboxed them in a reel on my Instagram and I also have it here on YouTube. I'll link that below for you to enjoy the actual unboxing and swatching process. This set came with some brushes and a water brush and some other fun things on the other side of the palette, but I'm gonna use one of the brushes right now. I chose, I think, a three. This is kind of my favorite size that I generally use in a lot of my watercolor. I don't switch back and forth between brush sizes very often. And then I'm just wetting the palette. This is a 50 color palette. They're all kind of normal colors. They do have some metallic sets and my friend Michelle, I'll link her video below. She reviewed a set with uh, metallics and after seeing her video, I was kind of regretting the fact that I didn't get the metallic set, but I don't use a lot of metallics in my artwork. So this set was really more me anyway. So besides the swatches above, this is my first time actually really painting with these colors and I'm just laying down a foundational color, a really light kind of pink here to try to see how it flows on the watercolor paper. I'm using a hot press watercolor paper which has no tooth. I really like this um, watercolor paper without the tooth for some reason. I like both but this is probably my favorite. I'm probably odd here in saying that but I'm just here. Um, laying down this pink, seeing how it reconstitutes when I add some water, seeing how it flows, just a simple base layer. And then I'm gonna get into some of my more Nicole style watercoloring. But this is um, just a good little test here to see how the watercolor um, kind of moves and flows and reconstitutes and um, gets that kind of cool watercolor ombre effect that you can get. I'm just playing with the color here before I really get into like the actual fun part of watercoloring. And now that I've played with this first layer, I'm going to continue to build additional layers with more colors of pinks and reds. I'm going to throw some purple in, a little bit of peach. I'm even going to mix my own Payne's Gray. There is a Payne's Gray in this set, but it didn't have enough blue in it for me, and I love the blue. So I'm going to end up mixing that. I'm going to fast forward, not fast forward, I'm going to speed up the process a little bit because I spent over an hour in just enjoying this watercolor process. I'll break in if I have anything interesting to say, but basically I'm just layering color, enjoying watercoloring, kind of doing it in my grungy Nicole style, and testing out how these watercolors layer.
I've added a little purple, a little bit of darker red, layering the fun splotchiness of these cone flowers. I have cone flowers growing in my garden and I'll pop in a little picture here of them. They were my inspiration. They're probably my favorite summer flower and the butterflies <laughs> love them too. They have this amazing center cone that has little flecks of orange and dark colors and I wanted to reflect that here as I'm um, layering the watercolor in that center cone part. And I'm loosely adding some stems. I'll eventually also add some leaves to those stems as well. Um, not yet though, I don't know why I waited to add the leaves, but I'm going back to the cones now that they're dry. That's probably why I went to the stems because the, the flowers were wet and I needed them to dry a little bit. Again, layering on more color here. And now I'm mixing up that Payne's Gray and I'm just testing it a little bit to make sure I got the color I liked and how it was going to lay on the on the cone flowers and I'm go, going to go back to layering a little bit. I think the sped up process of this video is making me stumble over my words just a little bit. Now I'm adding in that Payne's Gray as some shadowing and a little fun pop of color. I love um, adding like the unusual in my watercolors. I added that purple and that peachy color to kind of bring up some shadows in the sunlight that hits those petals. And um, continuing here to layer darker colors towards the center, working on the petals a little bit. Really kind of just testing out how these watercolors are working for me. So I'm adding some splatters. I'm going to add the leaves in just a second right here. <laughs> kind of just finishing up this watercolor process. finished or not I decided that left petal was a little dark on the bottom it was catching my eye too much so I'm trying to add a little bit more darkness on the bottoms of those petals just to allow it to blend in a little bit and I'm also trying to use some water to kind of um, pull that watercolor away to see how that works and once it was actually finished, I sprayed it with that sealer and I'm going to stick it in my journal here with just some normal ATG tape. I didn't want to use a wet medium because I didn't want to wait for it to dry. Just use some of this tape to stick it into my journal. So about these watercolors, I really enjoyed using them. They're a little, um, they're really vibrant and they're probably a little, I would say maybe a little bit more gouache like in their texture. I'm looking forward to playing with them a little bit more to try them out, but I love how they worked on these cone flowers. They were the perfect 
subject to try these watercolors out, but now I need to try out some blues and some purples and some oranges and some more greens. I'm going to top this off with a little saying and call this page done. It was the perfect place to put this little watercolor image on. I want to thank um, Gravy so much for sending me these watercolors and they have a coupon code for you as well so you can try them out. Check the description box below for that coupon code and the actual link to this product but look at their website. There are several other watercolor products especially like the metallic ones you might want instead of these. And that's the final page. I hope you enjoyed this little watercolor project today. A little bit different from the, my norm, but I love watercoloring flowers. I look forward to grabbing these um, watercolors and taking them to the coffee shop next and doing a little bit of watercoloring and trying them out some more. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure you again check out that coupon code below, Michelle's video, I'll link below as well, and also my swatching video so you can see how that went. I hope you have a wonderful day. Grab some watercolors. Look in your garden, take some photos, and enjoy the day. Or if you don't have a garden, I give you permission to use the photos of my garden coneflowers as your inspiration to paint some coneflowers today.